Is that look of revelation on the athlete's face? A complete outsider is the center of attention. Just what is a human vegetable doing in psychology? To the freak is eating the mass murder. Oh my god, terrifying. This is a reality. Our position there into being open up to stall. This is the worst thing that's happened to mankind. And in the studio, the puppets run you dark age, but your commentator has got his eyes glaring. the downfall of our house. If any spark of life be yet remaining, down, down to hell and say I sent thee thither.
scrape your dream of death may die. Here lies your eyes, here lies body of. Here lies buried. Memento mori. My glass is run. In the 21st year of her age. Life is uncertain. The grave is God's dying. When I die, bury me here. To the memory of. Deposited beneath this stone. Adieu, my friends. Death. Here lies buried the body of. Life is short.
Only what he did with this talent was a shame and a caution and an eldritch horror. If he'd only gotten the hell out of his auntie's attic and obtained a job with the Federal Writers Project of the WPA, he could have turned out guidebooks that would have been classics and joys to read forever. Only he stayed up there, muffled up to the tip of his long gone New England chin against the cold which lay more in his heart than his thermometer, living on 19 cents worth of beans a day, only writing for pennies the crappy manuscripts of writers who 
whose complete illiteracy would have been a boon to all mankind. Ah, but life is a boon, and producing ghastly, grisly, ghoulish, and horrifying works of his own, as well as man-eating things which foraged in graveyards, of human beastie crosses which grew beastier and beastlier as they grew older, of gibbering shoggoths and elder beings which smelt real bad, and were always trying to break through thresholds and take over, ruckus, squamous, amorphous nasties abetted by thin, gone New England eccentrics who dwelt in attics and who eventually were never seen or heard from again. Serve them damn well right, I say. In short, how it was a twitch, boys and girls, and that's all there is to it. complexion veins and aura more lifelike than when he lived. The adoration of dead personality, safe fantasia, immortality of the unobtainable. <laughs> Thank you. 
Like a damn futile business to keep on living. No more tutors, high school next September. Which would probably be a devilish bore since one couldn't be free and easy as one had been during brief snatches at the neighborly Slater Avenue school. Oh hell, why not slough off consciousness altogether? The whole life of man and of the planet was a mere cosmic second, so I couldn't be missing much. The method was the only trouble. I didn't like the messy exits and dignified ones were hard to find. Really good poisons were hard to get. Those in my chemical laboratory, I re-established this institution in the basement of a new place where crude and painful put me a spattery and unreliable hanging was ignominious. Daggers were messy unless one could arrange to organ a risk pain in a bowl of warm water. And even that had its drawbacks despite good rum and friendship. Thoughts on my cliff are possibly vulgar in view of the probable state of remains. Well, what tempted me most was the warm, shallow, regrown Barrington River down the east shore of the bay. I used to go there on my bicycle and look speculatively at it. That summer I was always on my bicycle, she could be away from home as much as possible since my abode reminded me of the home I had lost. How easy it would be to wade out among the rushes and lie face down in the warm waters till oblivion came. There would be a certain gurgling or choking unpleasantness at first, but it would soon be over. Then the long, peaceful night of non existence. What I enjoyed from the mythical start of eternity till the 20th of August, 1890. More and more I looked at the river on drowsy sun golden summer afternoons. I liked to think of the beauty of sun and blue river and green shore and distant white steeple as enfolding me at last. It would be as if the element of mystical cosmic beauty were disarmed me. And yet certain elements, notably scientific curiosity and the sense of world drama, held me back. Much in the universe baffled me, yet I knew I could find the answers out of books if I lived and studied longer. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, I can't wait. 
It is caught early enough. Hmm. Cause a number of intestines growing enough, right? Is. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
start military man. Made exactly the right cook off me. Even now I relish the old time in absence when they're revived on the radio. But they recall the last division of the business of their initial modulations. Fifty year old buttons nine year old dead dead in his Eric Zan's file. Eric Zan's file! He made your eyes a quality all its own harsh fears and strong. He shall enjoy the big sketches of neutral gray and the extremes of white and black whilst we mortals must confine ourselves to the more that is truly in a spectrum. Primal primary colors. We are the man lying in front of the funeral pole. We are the Akamuris' drunken run. The oldest and strongest emotion of mankind is fear. Bergson said that by studying maps, pictures, guidebooks, and plans of Paris, it is possible to discern the weight of monuments, the height of statues, the distance between landmarks, and the like. But that any amount of such contemplative visualization is vastly inferior to a ten-minute walk along one of the great city's magnificent boulevards. I have been in Paris in company with Polo in a dream! If I were to think of an angry man, we'd mention Peter would be the last thing I'd come with. And if I did, I'd probably just miss the reader. Some people call themselves as society, then. And on a penal, I'm sure it'd be as well. I'll relate to you. I'll try to even write that to be yours. Every fever I'm using, a noble family, and I think if you're on PC, what a name to leave up the window. Well, it's an exhibition. I've seen an ink meat and scrap room. If you might hear a penal, come back for that roll. Uh, take all the noises you made in the roll, eat them, spill them, regurgitate them, make sweet them, bury them, shoot them off to the stars. Thunderous music, hemispherical cosmic temple. Execute our extraordinary proficiency, but before the artist, bench, gusting turbulence, ye gods, I pen tritones, I must await me to confession. Was well, it is a little intonation, and I died singing this song. Henry was giving his mother a good fuck.